In this tutorial, we will look at making anti-alias oscillators using wavetables. This is heavily based on the Floss Pure Data book by Mike Fuzz. You can find this in the link below. Pure Data has a few simple ways to generate waveforms like square and sawtooth, as you can see here, but they tend to be very raw and include lots of high frequencies that can cause unwanted artifacts. We will use an array to create a lookup table for our synth. Create an empty array from the put menu, give it a name like wavetable and give it a size of 2051 samples. Then create an empty message. We can use the sign sum function to automatically create a waveform in our array. This message includes the name of our array, wavetable, the name of the function, sign sum, the size of our array, 2051 and then a list of volumes for the harmonics we want. If we just set one number we will get a sign tone like so. Lock the patch and click on the message to set the array. To play back from the array, we use the tab read for object as shown here. Make sure you include the name of your array as the argument. This object needs to be played back with a phase or object. We also need to multiply the phase or output by the size of our array, in this case, 2051. We can then specify a frequency to the phase or just like we would for any other oscillator. Let's add some more harmonics to our oscillator. We will start to make a sawtooth oscillator by adding volumes for extra harmonics. Each volume is lower than the last. We now have a very simple and not very good approximation of a sawtooth oscillator. You can see the waveform start to look a little bit more like a ramp but it sounds a bit crap still. Note also that the volume is too high. We can take care of this by using the normalize function like so. As we keep adding harmonics, we get closer to a true ramp sound, but importantly, without including very high frequencies that would daily us. Each volume is a fraction, 1 divided by the harmonic number. So the second harmonic is 1 over 2, the third harmonic is 1 over 3, and so on. We can print these ratios to the pure data console so that we know which values to include. Different volumes for different harmonics give us different wave shapes. This is a sequence for an approximation of a triangle wave. See the floss link for more information on the triangle wave. We can also make a square wave. For this we can start with the sawtooth wave, and replace every other volume with a zero. This is because the square wave is comprised only of odd-numbered harmonics. 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. Now 
now that we have our four wave shapes, we can tidy this into a neat sub patch and use a radio control to choose the oscillator. Have a look at the patch for this video. If you download the patch examples for this tutorial, you will also find this polyphonic example of the wavetable synth.